Good morning, Craig Howard here. Um, or well, <laughs> I say that all the time. To, I record these in the morning, so naturally I say good morning. Anyway, whenever you're watching this, um, we've just kind of come through winter. We're into spring. And if you're driving around much, if you're like me and you spend much time driving, then you are familiar with potholes. <clears throat> if you are from further north where they use even more salt, um, you're very familiar with potholes. One year, my daughter went through, I think, three tires out uh, at, when she was in school at West Liberty that she blew uh, because of hitting potholes. It was those low profile tires. Well, potholes can be a bad thing. Did you hear about the boy, the little boy who uh, took it upon himself with his little wagon and his little shovel to fill a pothole in front of his house. And when asked why he did it, he said that he didn't want people, he said his mom had hit a pothole and it had cost her a bunch of money and to get her car fixed and he didn't want other people to have to have that happen to them because it would probably cost them a bunch of money and so he was filling the pothole taking the dirt from his backyard putting it in his little wagon taking it out and filling the pothole in the street in fact he ended up filling 15 potholes on his street and somebody took a video of him filling these potholes and put it on YouTube or Facebook and it got something like 55 million views. It went viral. And when asked, you know, why he did it, he's just like, well, I, I want to help people. I, I you know, um, and it made me stop and think about something. He didn't fill every pothole in his city. He didn't fill every pothole in his state. He filled the potholes in front of his house. He couldn't fix everything, but he did what he could. And you know, I, I, sometimes when I'm around people, they're like, well, you know, the problems in this world, they're just too big, they're overwhelming, there's nothing I can do to fix world hunger, there's nothing I can do to fix homelessness, and so on and so forth. And so because we feel like we can't solve the entire world's problems, we just don't do anything. I think we've got something mixed up there. You know, the Bible doesn't call for us to do everything. In fact, over in the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 14, it says, And let our people also maintain good works to meet urgent needs that they may not be unfruitful. It doesn't say to do every good work or to fix every situation, but if you see an urgent need that you can do something about, if you can serve in that area, if you can make a difference with the pothole in front of your house, then that's what we're called to do. Fix the pothole in front of your own house. And I'm speaking figuratively, okay? If you want to fix the pothole in front of your own house, that's up to you. But... Look around at the needs that are right in your own community, right in your own neighborhood, maybe right in your own household, and say, what can I do to meet that need today? And in that way, we become the hands and feet of Jesus, ministering to the needs of people. And if we do it in Jesus' name, if we give a cup of cold water uh, in Jesus' name, we honor Him. How are you? serving the needs that you are aware of today, that you see today. You can't fix every need in the world. I wish I could. I wish I could cure homelessness. I wish I could cure world hunger. I wish I could alleviate cancer. Uh, you know, I, I would love to be able to just make all these problems of the world go away. I can't do that. But I can see the needs that I can do something about and do something about them in Jesus' name and be a witness for Christ in the process. Something for you to think about today. A little bit, it's supposed to be a pretty day today. A little bit still rainy and dreary out there this morning, but it's supposed to clear off here in West Virginia and be a pretty day. I hope it's a pretty day where you're at, and I hope it's a day that is filled with all kinds of blessings in your life today. Well, you have a great day. God bless you.